Happy Thanksgiving, sports fans, particularly the football fans. This is our Thanksgiving episode of the Pick'em Show. We're without Nick Kerr. He just he got swallowed up by the holiday nonsense. Can't say I blame him. But we got me, got Tony Parlay. We'll guide you through some holiday uh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> some holiday picks here. Yeah, my brain's oh. fried, man. My brain's fried. It's it's a long holiday week. <laughs> <laughs> We're here to get you through it, people. We're here to get you through it. Let's get some football going. Yeah. All right. We got the Packers at the Lions. Detroit favored by seven and a half points. Nick picked Detroit on this one. I'll start with myself on this one. I'm also going with Detroit, despite Green Bay winning last week. That was a big win for them, to be perfectly honest. Uh, I think the Lions are going to make a statement in this game. It's Thanksgiving. The crowd's going to be into it. It's always just like this is probably one of the biggest Thanksgiving games they've had in a while. So I think they're just going to come out and blow the Packers out of the water. And yeah phrasing there for a second but tony who are you picking <laughs> packers or lie i mean you very well could be right you and nick both could be right i was trying to shit on the lions and they had that huge comeback win against the bears very impressive they could come out and just make that statement win but of the three games on thanksgiving i feel like this is the best one and so I think it's going to be the closest. And so the seven and a half points, I feel like that hook is just tempting me to pick the Packers. And I know I know that you had this sell job on Jordan Love being a bust. And he isn't there yet. And that was a pretty big performance for him last week, even though it was the hapless Chargers. So we'll see how he looks in prime time. And we'll get a little bit more indication on if we're going to go three for three on our bust predictions for the season. But yes, I'm going to take the Packers and that that hook, that seven and a half hook is the only reason why. I think that Lions defense is going to crush them and definitely not the Chargers defense. (laughs) Fair, fair. Um, You're right about that. And then just, yeah, like the Lions, I'd have to say at this point, they probably have the best offensive line in the league right now. And I think they're just going to run it down their throats and occasionally pop off with a play action that's going to go big down the field um mostly Amon Ross St. Brown and so yeah I just I don't see how the Packers can keep this close so moving on we got another divisional matchup a turkey day tradition the Cowboys at Jerry World against the Commanders they're favored by 12 and a half points in this game let you start off on this one tony talk to us about commanders at dallas another butt game man (laughs) this this commanders team is just they haven't been too good this season and they've been like middling and then they sold off some of their team so they're really kind of directionless and sam howell just he takes so many sacks and throws so many picks it's like this spread was like 10 then 11 now it's 12 and a half and I just, like, Dallas has just been kicking these bad teams' butts. Like, there's nobody in the league better at them than them at that. So, I mean, I feel like the commanders are trending towards being a bad team. Game will probably be over at halftime. Third quarter, I vision some backup play from Cooper Rush and sorts. So, I'm taking Dallas in the points. I'm with you there. Outside of that Arizona Cardinals game, the Cowboys have just been beating up bad opponents this season and in pretty decisive fashion. So I see them easily covering this spread. And then also the Commanders, just like, what the fuck? Like, you got your asses smoked by the Commander. Or, I mean, by Tommy DeVito and the Giants. So just, I... Like, I had a little bit of faith in the Commanders at the beginning of the season. I was like, there's something there. Like, Sam Howell has some potential, and now I'm just like, yeah, same old Commanders. So, yeah, I just, I, zero faith in them. Give me Dallas. Nick is also picking Cowboys in this one as well. So, that's a family play. I don't have friends. Right. Final game. Thanksgiving. We got the San Francisco 49ers at their divisional rival, the Seattle Seahawks. San Fran favored by a touchdown in this one. Knicks picking San Francisco. 
I'm also picking San Francisco. Um, yeah, I was just looking back at some of the previous games. Seahawks got swept last year. Um, not only regular season, but lost postseason matchups with 49ers. So that's three games that they just kind of got their asses kicked. Especially that last game, um, the postseason game. Brock Purdy had three passing touchdowns, a rushing, rushing touchdown on him. Just they absolutely got killed by Brock Purdy. And that was kind of one of his statement games last season. So... As I see it right now, like Niners and Brock Purdy own the Seahawks. Give me the Niners. Tony, close this out with Niners and Seahawks. Yeah, I'm right there with you, Chris. And um, because you didn't catch most of that Seahawks-Rams game, let me go ahead and catch you up. Um, Geno Smith went out of that game because of injury, and they had Drew Locke come in that game, and they ran some offense with Drew Locke. He threw an interception, and... So I'm not too, I'm not too, like, I don't know how injured or how healthy Geno Smith is going up against that Niners pass rush. Doesn't feel like a good formula for me. So yeah, I'm with you on that San Fran winning that game by more than a touchdown. Short week for Geno as well. So like, if they have to play Drew Locke in this game, blowout, double digit blowout written all over it. Niners get up early. It's going to be over. So yeah, I'm right there with you. Another family play for us. All right. Tony's correct. Um, I didn't realize the score of that Seahawks Rams game until about like 16 hours afterward, in which I was like, wait, what? The Seahawks lost that game? Yes. Yes. Um, but we'll say this as a Broncos fan maybe we're starting to win the Drew Locke trade. <laughs> what a spin zone. What a good spin zone. Kudos. Good All good. right little bonus game here this week that we're going to cover with our Thanksgiving games. We have a Black Friday game. Dolphins at Jets. Nick didn't even show up for this. his own team. <coughs> Big game coming up. Um, you should know Nick picked Miami. So we'll start out with Tony on this one. Talk to us about Dolphins Jets. It's a big spread at 10 points, but I'm with Nick picking the Dolphins because I told you last week the Jets are on my no bet list. I've been burned by them. I, there's just no way I can back them in any form or fashion. I know this game is going to be on the Amazon app and be free for everyone, but I just I can't back them, man. Give me the Dolphins big. I know the Jets are going to be at home. Maybe there's some crazy weather that possibly keeps it close, but man, I don't know. I just think that the Dolphins roll with them. I, yeah, give me the Dolphins in the double digits. All right. I'm on a lonely island with this one. I'm picking the Jets. New day. New day for the <laughs> Jets. No more Zach Wilson. So, hey, um, there is hope, question mark, <laughs> at the moment for the Jets. But for me, it's Dolphins. They're coming off a short week. Um, they played close against the Raiders, which I predicted on my ro lonely island. Ronery Island. Uh, <laughs> But no, I, I think it's a short week for the Dolphins. They have to travel to New York. They're having to play a game the day after Thanksgiving. So, like, that is that is going to fuck with them a little bit. I still think the Dolphins win, but I think 10 points is giving them way too much credit. Especially in a week when we're seeing a lot of these games that are like Pick'em's games. Like, you have Jaguars at Texans that's one and a half points. You have Saints at Falcons that's one point. Um, Steelers at Bengals with no Joe Burrow, Pittsburgh's only favored by one point. So for me, this is just a weird spread. I feel like you're giving the Dolphins way too much credit. Once again, I think that 70 point game is just hanging in some of these um, odds makers heads of just like, oh, well, you know, they have the potential to go out there and score 70 points. So maybe we need to give them a little more credit. No, like I said, short week, holiday week, divisional rival, new QB that they don't have tape on so all those things I think it's going to be probably a touchdown game for the Dolphins they win it but give me the Jets to cover all right that is our Thanksgiving games I hope everybody has a happy safe Thanksgiving with friends family fun good food all that stuff um before we roll out of here Tony favorite Thanksgiving side dish Mashed potatoes, man. Mashed, mashed potatoes. potatoes. What? Yep, mashed potatoes, dude. You get yourself some good mashed potatoes, and that's the base. That's what you need. You can mix in other stuff with it. 
throw in some turkey with the mashed potatoes, throw in some other vegetables. Mashed potatoes, your best, best side dish. I'm telling you, man, get some good mashed potatoes with gravy. That's all you need. <laughs> all right. I, <laughs> hey, mine's probably just as weird to people. I do love the green bean casserole, man. Give me like, you know, a little, little gravy in there with like the little crispy onions and stuff. Hmm. Perfect, but uh, <laughs> top the turkey. The turkey is always the yeah, the star. Yeah, it's the star. It's the Tom Brady of Thanksgiving. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, one last thing, Tony. What are you most thankful for this football season? The sports buds, man. The sports buds. I'm thankful for my co-host getting to do this, even though Nick's not here just today. Just not Nick. <laughs> no, yeah, not thankful, Nick. For him. <laughs> thankful for him most of the season. Just not this week. Thankful for Chris and thankful for the viewers, man. Thanks for tuning in. Keep going. Keep sticking with us. Keep this train going, man. You are a smug, pandering son of a bitch right now. <laughs> um, <laughs> Sean Payton, man. I'm thankful for Sean Payton. <laughs> there he Looks is. Like he's turned around the Broncos. Seems like we finally got some positivity around this team. Something to look forward to. Hope it's not just a mirage like previous <laughs> years, but no. Seems like Sean Payton has his shit together, so thankful for that. All right, everyone, have a great Thanksgiving for Tony Parlay Reyes, Nicholas J. Kerr, wherever he is. <laughs> I'm Chris Billings. Have a fun Thanksgiving. Thanks for watching the Sports Buds. Be sure to like, follow, and subscribe.